PreCheck was looking for a great new partner, a new place to expand, really a primary data center first. So we needed our servers, our, our client's data is so important to us. So we wanted to build a redundant server location. And then we decided that there was a very good climate here, economic climate here for us to come and add employees. So we started to add technical employees first, and we built this data center. And when Hurricane Ike hit 2008 in Houston, we used this data center to basically have a redundant switchover, a failover for us, so our customers never experience any downtime. As we got to learn more about the community, we then began to uh, see that there was a talented workforce here as well. Um, began to hire people, and we learned as we started hiring that the, the economic incentives, both from the city government, the Economic Development Committee, and as well as the state government, were very advantageous for us. We started to leverage high wage tax credit, the job training initiative pro incentive program, um, to get back some of the some of the investment we were making in, into our employees here, and it just made a lot of business sense for us. So for job training initiative program, when we have a new class of employees that come on, we'll typically go and ask for, say we need 40 employees over the next six months. We'll create training programs that meet their requirements. Uh, we file our application, we get our 40 jobs approved, and then we'll get some percentage of their first six months salary returned to us in the form of a payment. So if you have somebody that comes in and it costs $30,000 and they'll reimburse you for a certain percentage of that based on what type of company you are. I believe we get somewhere between 50 and 65% of that first year or first six month salary return to us, which is obviously a great economic advantage when you're expanding. And that's JTIP and high wage tax credit. Jobs that are reach a certain tier uh, of salary um, and you have them for over 36 months uh, consecutively, you can get high wage tax credits for those programs and pay back a certain percentage of their salaries as well. So if I was talking to another company or a business owner that's looking to expand or looking to start a business here, um, you know, Lita is a great way to get um, expansion dollars to put a brick and mortar site here in New Mexico. There's ways to take advantage when you start adding staff. There's training dollars available to you. So when PreCheck looked, we're in Houston, it was our corporate headquarters, and when we looked at Dallas and other cities, uh, surrounding states, we didn't find um, economic incentives uh, that were as lucrative for us, that made as much sense as these did, to really all the way along the expansion process. Um, so I think that's a, something you really need to look at, is just do the comparison. It's very advantageous. Uh, the tax rates are very advantageous. Um, so that's what I would say to anybody who's looking to expand or grow here is, is just really look into it, do an apples to apples comparison and you'll see that it's, it becomes a no-brainer for you that New Mexico is a great place to start a business. It's pro-business. It's become even more pro-business we, since we got here um, and we're expanding here. And that's a testament, I think, to the fact that we've vetted it and this is where we're gonna be growing.